Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to say big thank you to all my lovely subscribers, new and old. Please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Just click that red button that says subscribe. There you will click that bell sign so you get a new notification whenever I'm uploading a new video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make paprika powder. So come on, let's get started. So guys, here is the bell pepper. I'm using a long bell pepper in this video and they have been washed. So you can decide to use any bell pepper of your choice. You can use long, you can use the short one. So let's get started. So first of all, we are going to start by taking off the head of the bell pepper. This is how I normally move mine. So you can see it's very easy. This is just the best way to take off the head of your peppers. You see it? And there's no need cutting it open. See it? They are off. So you can see our long bell pepper. I've taken off every, you know, the stuff from it, the seed. And if you are not too sure of, maybe you feel that there are some still left, all you need to do is to take a spoon and just, you know, twist it inside and make sure there's no, there's no seed left. So you can see now this one is just a little one left inside. So now I'm just going to use my spoon you know, to take off the remaining excess from it. So by doing this, at the end of the day, there will not be seed left anymore. So you can see how clean it is after using the, the spoon. If you don't want to use spoon you can also use your skewer you know this is the best way to take out seed from the bell pepper so guys you can see how clean uh, long bell pepper is looking so now let's start cutting it so please when you are cutting this don't cut it too big I'm using oven to dry this but if you don't have you can also use an hydrator hydrator is still better for drying your paprika here is our paprika I finished slicing them so now I'm gonna start transferring it to the to the baking tray so here is our baking tray See the one adding it to it. Let me show you guys.
if you live in an area where there is sun, you can use your sun to dry it. Right now we are in the winter time. That's why I'm using my oven. So here is our paprika. I finished assembling them on the baking pan. So now I'm going to transfer it to the oven. Please, when you are baking, you are drying this with your oven. Dry on a low heat, one. And two, make sure you don't fully cover your oven. Just open it in a, you know, open it a bit. So see you guys soon. Wow. Guys, here is our paprika. I finished drying it. You can see how dry they are looking. So like I said, I dried this with my oven. So now the next we are going to do is to kind of put it in the blender for blending. Now let's start blending it. I'm just going to add it to the plate. You can see how it is. Our paprika is ready. I'm just going to use the spoon on, on it. You can see homemade paprika is the best. Yeah, our paprika is ready. So you, you can see how. So, guys, here's our paprika. Let me just finish adding everything to, to the top plate. So, here is it. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please, if you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. And God bless you.